This is Kelly from I Bring It Every Day, and this is Audrey's story. Uh, my name is Audrey, mm -hmm. and I've been knitting for a long, long time. I, my grandmother uh, in England, I have a, a, a grandmother that was from England, and she taught me how to knit. And she had me knit, like first the knit it stitch. I yep. did that for like a week. And then I did the pearl stitch, and I did that for a week. <laughs> and then I started, you know, eventually. I actually didn't really do, make anything much till I was uh, working. Okay. So I made, you know, a sweater. I made another sweater. Mm. My husband says, I have so many sweaters that, you know, he should build on an addition so we have I room for all the sweaters. So I finally actually had to, like, if I made one, mm. I had to get rid of one. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. So, so now what are you making right now? Well, I am making a dishcloth mm -hmm. um, for charity, I guess that we would call it. Okay. Joe, um, Joe in our group has a, a group of I don't know. I'm not sure if they're um, veterans. I think they might be veterans. They, okay. Um, we're making washcloths for them. So that's what this is. And it's very simple. It's almost what you call mindless. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you can go to the knitting group and talk. Mm -hmm. Knit and not make any mistakes. That is correct. <laughs> Yes, I, I, I can see, and people probably watching will understand how yeah. Oh, yeah. insane that is. It sounds really funny, but it's so true because you get, you get caught up in a conversation and then you oh. miss a stitch or something. Yeah, well, I've missed, I've had to rip things out that mm -hmm. I worked on here because I'm talking and I'm making mistakes okay. all the time. I'm knitting, but, you know, but I enjoy knitting. I find it very relaxing. I sometimes, well, I watch TV and knit. I've knit so long, I can do it without looking. That's great. You know, wow. and um, it's just, I just love doing it. And I also crochet. I'm not as good as a crocheter as I am a knitter, mm -hmm. but I do know how to crochet and I do that too. Okay. So, now, now what style is this? Because I know, I always forget the names um, for knitting. Oh, yeah. style. Yeah. Yeah. This is a, this would be a, probably a garter stitch, which, yeah. which you knit every row. Mm -hmm. Well, and I mean, like in terms of, you know how there's continental and then there's the other one. Oh, like okay, the, yeah, this like would be called, I think they call the way I'm knitting uh, European. European, Yeah, I okay. think so. I can knit the other way, too. I taught myself to because it's actually faster. Yeah. But my tension isn't so good. Yeah, because, the same yeah this is my dominant hand, mm -hmm. and I have trouble yeah. controlling yeah. the tension yeah. this way, but it is much faster. That's funny, because, yeah, I, I have the same issue. Yeah, and I, I've looked at I don't know how many videos mm -hmm. for holding well, yarn, and yep. I cannot find one that works. Yep. So, yeah, it takes practice. Yeah, so I just, mm -hmm. I sometimes I do this. If you're doing what they call ribbing, yes. which is knit two, purl two, or knit one, purl one, mm -hmm. it's used, nice to use the continental for that, because right. that's like so much back and forth. With mm -hmm. European, you have to go from the back to the front, and then to the back and okay, the front with right. your working yarn. Yep. And it's it's tedious. It's tedious. Yes, okay. it is tedious. So now, are you from this area? Uh, I'm originally from um, Cincinnati. Oh, you are. Okay, mm -hmm. so I could sort of tell, but I, you know. Yeah, I have okay. a different. I have a twang or something. I don't no, know. you're just di just different. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that's where I was. I'm originally from, and um, I met my husband um, in Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. He lived in the apartment upstairs of mine, and he was from this area. Mm -hmm. So, so that's how I got here. Okay. But anyway, so what, which one do you like better, knitting or crocheting? Or, or yeah. Well. I like knitting better only because I'm I'm better at it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but crocheting is actually faster. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> that's for sure. That's, yeah. nice, that's a nice color. So is that peaches and cream? Yeah, I think it is. I'm mm -hmm. not exactly sure what the name mm -hmm. of it is, but I like it. It's, it's kind of sunny looking. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> sunny and bright. How long have you been in the group? I've been in the group probably about four years, I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. And I saw it in the in the merchandise. Okay. And I came and I've been coming ever 
ever since. Ever since. Yeah. Good job. And a lot of nice ladies here. Yeah. And a lot of very knowledgeable people. Right. As far as stitching and a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's sort of the the uh, idea of my channel. Mm -hmm. I wanna have people just see like even if you even if you've been doing it a while just to see what everybody's making. Just yeah. for inspiration and yeah. then, just, Great. just to see what's on people's minds. Because mm -hmm. I just think we always need a little inspiration. Oh, sure. And the group, I think you can learn a lot from everybody. Yeah. Oh, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. So great. Yeah. Well, well, thank you so much. You're quite welcome. <laughs> I said, when you knit with cotton, yep. you have to you, you, um, you have to knit exactly your size or maybe a little smaller than mm -hmm. your size because it stretches. Have to make as much as so when you wash it, so it'll stretch. So you want it to be, no, you know, pretty form-fitting. Yep. So, Good job. As opposed to wool where you, you don't do that. You yeah. know, you want some room in there you know mm -hmm. yeah that's good that's helpful so information. i learned that the hard way yeah oh okay. yeah, i ripped out a, one cotton thing and remade it <laughs> okay <laughs> because i didn't you know know that well i found yeah. out